another episode of Dishing It. My name is Nadej Florimon, and this is where we talk food, eat food, and have great conversation with some of our favorite people. And today, I have one of my favorite people, Miss Melissa Bernier of Bernier Legal. Hello, everyone. Isn't she lovely? Aww, I you love your eyes. Beautiful. beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, Melissa, yes. your friend, but we're here to talk about your law business and, of course, cook some food because you yes, have definitely. a banging chicken dish. Because I don't like roast chicken, really? but I love yours. So, ah, okay, but great. before we get to all that cooking, tell us a little bit about Bernier Legal. What's your specialty? All right, so Bernier Legal is my baby. I started in 2010, um, and it focuses on entertainment, fashion, and business law. Oh, that's why you look so fabulous. Ah, thank you. You're not just one of those <laughs> put on a suit type of a No, gym. definitely not. I hate suits, actually, but don't tell my mom. <laughs> so your parents must be happy, an attorney, but are they, yeah, they do they are. understand that whole entertainment, law, fashion aspect? Um, fashion, yes. My mom is a fashion designer, so oh, okay. she actually made me work for her before I worked for anybody else. <laughs> they got good practice. Exactly. The entertainment part, they're still kind of getting used to, but they like it for the most part. Okay. Cool. What's your focus with entertainment? Because I know you work with a lot of our major Haitian I do. artists. I so do. Talk so to most, us a little bit about that. <laughs> so most of my work is in the Haitian community community in the Haitian music industry. Um, I represent three people right now. Well, actually, I manage and represent three people right now, one of whom you will be cooking with at some point. <laughs> Jackson Cherry, Felicia Ross, and Rebecca Zama in oh. uh, Boston. Oh. And I also do work for other people such as Alan Cave, Karimi, all of that kind of stuff. So it's really fun and exciting. What made you decide to because I'm hearing a lot of musicians, a lot mm -hmm. of Haitian musicians, and we know the Haitian music industry can be a little tough. Tough say That's once. like crazy. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so what made you decide to make that your focus? Um, there was a need for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of just fell into it, to be honest. I oh, had yeah. I started working with DJs to begin with, and they had contracts that needed to be done. And I kind of saw how the industry was going, and I was like, no, nah, something needs to be done here. So I really just got my hands dirty, got into it, and now that's what I do. Or oh, where the industry wasn't going. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. No, that's awesome. Well, Thank so you. good to hear. Now, talk to us about this chicken. All right. So, uh, there was a time that you and I did a video a couple of years ago, and it was all about like Sunday dinner, right? Yes. And one of my favorite things for Sunday dinner is roast chicken. It's great because it's easy, it's fast, you can kind of just set it and forget it, and you eat it for like three days, you know, <laughs> if you're me. <laughs> So and it's dish. really it's really easy. I love to make it. It's one of my favorite Sunday dishes. So, so let's see your chicken. Here we go. Oh, how lovely! That's <laughs> <laughs> the fun part. Yes. So you start out with the roast with the actual raw chicken, and you know you're Haitian, so you gotta uh, make sure that you clean it with some um, lime and water. And now it's time to kind of dress Clorox, her up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever gets it really clean. <laughs> And so now we're going to dress her. So dress if her. you can pass me the olive oil. We start out with olive oil. And please, everyone, you got to get your hands dirty with this. Got to massage it, massage it. Kind of like a baby or a man. I don't know. <laughs> Make sure you get olive oil all over the chicken. Both sides equally. All right. Oh, you really dressing that baby? Hell yeah, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to take another container of olive yes, oil since you are. I've got chicken all up in there. So I'm yes. gonna need some for my recipe. Now, if you could kindly grab the uh, spices for me, and I'll tell you what's in there. Okay. And we have what is this? This is my spice rub. It's a dry rub that we're going to rub all over the chicken before we roast it. And basically what's in it, I call it the kitchen sink. It's anything that's really in your cabinet. So you have <laughs> cayenne pepper, uh, salt, regular pepper, uh, crushed pepper flakes. Yeah, it's very spicy. Uh, mm -hmm. Parsley flakes, Italian seasoning. Really any of those basic spices that you have in your cabinet to kind of make a rub on the chicken. So and then we yep. just sprinkle all yeah. over her back, her thighs, her booty. <laughs> Yes. Turn her over. You want to massage it? <laughs> massage. Yes. You it's need to massage about, your meat, people. Massage your meat. Massaging. It's important to massage your meat. Okay. Flip her over. <laughs> I really love seasoning chicken. That looks so cute. <laughs> you are too much. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. 
So is this everything in equal portion? Would you say for the most? Yeah, part? Yeah, depending on how spicy you want it, you'll obviously regulate how much um, pepper you'll mm -hmm. put in there and the salt. Obviously, you have to watch your salt intake, but you really just eyeball it. Make sure you get all under the arms and whatnot. Now I see you have some other. Yeah. Fresh ingredients we have. What's happening with all of this? So all of this stuff minus the lime is what we're going to stuff the chicken with. And basically oh. all of this stuff is going to help season the chicken on the inside and give it kind of a, an That's aromatic what you call flavor. your aromatics. Yeah. yeah. So, so you have rosemary. Rosemary. Just stuff, the, just stuff it all in there. Rosemary. The carrots just stick it so in there. Yeah, you can cut it. <laughs> Washing and cut it, obviously. <laughs> but we're just going to stick it in there. Onions. Onions. Should have some thyme. thyme. My favorite herb, as everybody knows. I put it in everything. Cake. You name it. Wow. <laughs> okay, I joke, but you know what I mean. And some garlic. Oh, you're going to have to peel that. Do you peel it? Yeah. Peel oh, it okay. and crush it a little bit so it's a little open. And then you drop it in there. Yes, ma'am. So as much as you want, if you're an onion person, add a lot. If you're not, not too much. And then you just stick it in the roaster. Yeah. And what do you bake this at? 375? 375, yes. Now, this is our show chicken. We're doing this just for television, but I noticed Melissa has her bling bling on. <laughs> but at home, of course, you know to take those off because we already have our done up chicken. Exactly. But and this now is I'm just going to, to show you how to prep it all and get yeah, it together. Exactly. 375 for about an hour, hour and a half, depending on the weight of the chicken. And then you sit and wait. And then you're going to wash my hands. Wash definitely. Your hands. And you know what? When I heard you were making roast chicken, I was like, you know what, let me make some roasted vegetables. So that's what I'm going to be working on. So your chicken is baking and mm -hmm. her figured roast chicken. Why not do some nice, healthy, roasted root vegetables? You know, nice. go back to our roots and mm, all. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using some of my favorites, but you pretty much can use anything. So I'm using okay. this right here, which is basically a malanga, uh -huh. like, um, also known as like taro root, mm -hmm. I think. It's a bit but sticky, right? Yeah, and it yeah. has that red color. Gotcha. It's also what we make acai with. Oh, okay, so cool. It's a really, really good one. Good to know. Uh, I love sweet potatoes. Yes. The American version, they call it yams. Oh. That's what they make candied yams with. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also use regular white uh, sweet potatoes, some carrots, and beets. Not my favorite, but all right. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing. A lot of people don't like any of these things. Like, I'm not a fan of root vegetables. Mm -hmm. But when it's roasted, when it's roasted, it brings out the flavor and it's actually better. So I got you. Sweet, a mm -hmm. little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like out of the can to be. <laughs> and basically, we just combine it all together. And I love the colors. Again, you can use any kind of vegetable you like, yucca, you name it. Okay. And when I tell you basic, I have my salt and black pepper mix. All right. Just sprinkle. It's a nice, generous sprinkle. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Um, this, garlic powder and onion powder. Oh, okay. My other addiction besides time. <laughs> Again, you put that in cake too? Mm, we'll sometimes. talk about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Melissa, what projects are you working on? Currently right now, I'm working on some projects with Felicia Ross. Uh, we're doing some touring. We are working on an album. So a lot of stuff going on. So it's cool. Oh, wow. And yeah. then finally, olive oil. Drizzle liberally with this one. Mm-hmm. Because really... Do they soak up a lot of the oil? It's going to soak it up, and that's really, like I said, it keeps it from burning. Oh, okay. And it really just, like, roasted, and, like I said, brings out those nice flavors. Look at me. Mm -hmm. I'm a klutz. I don't even know why I'm a caterer, because <laughs> I'm always dropping things in the kitchen, so people You and me like, both. <laughs> I eat like a toddler, so I understand. <laughs> and that's it. That really is all you need to do. That's you so put simple. it on a roasted pan or a sheet, a baking mm -hmm. sheet. And then you just bake that. The same 375, mm -hmm. you bake your chicken. It's the same 375. We're going to bake this for about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Not and just bring out the sweetness. Okay? Cool. So I'll put this in the oven. All right. And then while we, we should pour, I see you have wine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for it's bringing wine. Part, <laughs> that's the best part about cooking. So, oh, my God. This is really good wine. Okay. I think it's the best part of the meal. We're back. <laughs> Our chicken is done. Yes. Isn't she pretty? She's pretty. And really easy. See? Easy. Just set set it, it and forget it. it. I love it. Both of these dishes. And look oh, at and our the roasted vegetables. vegetables. Great. They look so vibrant in color. Beautiful color. Again, just variation of colors. You could use whatever you like. If you don't like yams, you don't have to put yams. Put potatoes. Put yucca. You name it. So I don't know about you, but I love breast meat. So we're going to cut breast meat here. Wow, she looks pretty. 
Oh, and this is really, oh my God, it is nice and tender. Let me wait to see how you put your chicken and I'll place the root vegetables around that. Oh my God. Those seasonings, you can smell it. You yeah, can smell it, it gives it a nice like crust, which is great. I'm a wing girl. Put my wing right there, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, perfect. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. So nice, right? And then our root vegetables. So this is really a healthy meal, too, when you think it about is. it. You know, you always got to think about the health aspect these days. We you ain't got no younger. You know, always <laughs> got to think about it. I'm not a beach person, but I'm telling you, in this dish... I'm going to have to try it because I'm not I a beach person either, so when we'll see how this roasted, goes. The colors... And the sweet potatoes are awesome. The little garlic powder. So basic, so simple. Yeah. And That's the malaga. Love it. You could even put some plantains in here if you wanted to roast some. Oh, really? I've never had roasted mm -hmm. plantains. That must yeah, be really cool. To try it. I think I'm trying to get back to this wine. And there's our dish. Mm hmm. Tasting you time, right? I, well, let me garnish with a little bit. Oh, I see. You don't got to garnish. Fancy. I'm a caterer. You have to garnish. I'm not this fancy, clearly. <laughs> Just a little green. Ah, beautiful. To add to it a little color. Now we eat. Yay. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> oh, you are proper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to treat it like the olive oil. And just the vegetables are so tender. Mm. 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 Oh, my God. The chicken is really good. I'm going to try this funny. beef. So soft. Right? Mm. It's actually really good. Mm. Chicken. So, Melissa, mm -hmm. how do you like it? it oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <don't know. laughs> and usually that's what people hate about those chicken. They're like, the flavor doesn't really go in. That's why but you I, gotta. The aromatics, yep. those onions and garlic in there. Where'd you get this recipe? My mama. Hi, mommy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she got it from her mama. <laughs> yes. So thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having and me. This was great. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Dishing It. And you know I like to eat, so I'm going to go back to this part that I like. <laughs> we both Bye. are. Till next time. <laughs>